I guess I'm going to need some more light here, eh? Let me see if I can get some more light for you guys. Do we really need to turn the lights on or what? Because I live in the dark. What's going on, everybody? How's everybody's payday? How's your payday and what'd you do with your money? Anybody buy anything new today? Seven thumbs up. That was fast. I'm outside Eugene's house, but he refused. Come on up, FJ. Guys, if you don't know Fragrance Journey, he's here in the comments. Check out his videos. Subscribe to him. Show him some love. He's always shouting people out. Uh, I don't want to turn on all the lights because I don't like lights, but I want you guys to have, you know, I don't want it to be completely dark in here. Oh, fuck. That's a little better, eh? <laughs> it's a little bit better. Mr. Silva's in the house and is, I wonder where the entourage is. They can't be far too far behind. Collection starting to look good. Yeah. I haven't put all my stuff away. I've still got two massive U-Haul boxes stuffed away in the closet that I don't know what I'm going to do with. Um, there's some pretty good things in there, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to display them. Yes, <laughs> Lyndon. Um, so I sniffed Moschino Toy Boy the other day for the first time, and I have to say I was really impressed. And uh, I didn't know anything about it. I just was in the drugstore, and, and I walked by. I was like, what is this goofy-looking teddy bear bottle I'm, i don't know has anyone smelt toy boy let us know in the comments if you have and i gave it a spray and i was like whoa this is really good you know if you can get past the goofy packaging i don't know mosquito has got this thing with weird packaging they like to be noticed that way but um i didn't pick it up but you know the first place i find it on discount i i'm gonna snatch that up because I love snatch and I love perfume. So I will I will be grabbing it. Yeah. April Spritz says Toy Boy is great. I agree, man. It's really good. Like the bottle looks it looks so childish and goofy and I don't know. Um I, I don't I don't want to get offensive here, but you, you spray the scent on and it's really like masculine spicy woody uh it's warm and spicy fresh and spicy i was like wow this almost seems like an amped up version of hermes uh voyage de hermes that's like kind of the vibe that i got <laughs> you're my toy boy yeah i can be you might regret it later though get offensive please So a lot of these comments aren't going and FJ's must be dropping a lot of bombs because all his comments are getting um, flagged. You'll be hurt. 
Yeah, man, I'll ragdoll you all across the bed, brah. You're going to regret it and you're going to be fucking sore in the morning. The bottle looks like a squeeze honey bear. You know what I thought the first time I saw the bottle? So it's this teddy bear. This is black teddy bear and the head comes off. And I thought about those backpacks that those kind of like those soft boys would wear, you know, with it's just like a backpack with teddy bear heads on them or something. And I was like, this is really fucking weird. And then you spray it on. I was like, this is like, it's a complete contrast to the packaging. The fragrance is bold. It's loud. It's a little bit actually too loud for my taste. I don't like things that, that strong, but this, this was like, it was really good. Yeah. I, I, I really want to know about the bot, uh, the teddy bear bottle. I'm, I'm really curious. Yeah, but I, <laughs> your mom is a virgin. Wow. Um, I've got Santal Noir here to unbox. Toy Boy reminds me of Frederick Mall's portrait of a lady. Hmm, I didn't get that at all. I got the most familiar thing that I would be able to compare it to is Voyage de Hermes. And right away, I was able to pick up that clove note. Uh, lots of woods, lots of spices, and a fresh rose. So uh, fresh, spicy, warm, spicy. Very, very spicy. If you like spicy fragrances, you might like this. And um, hovering on obnoxiously loud. Packaging is S and M bear culture. Is that like bear? Is that like kind of like the gay animal theme? <laughs> All right, so I'm going for tacos. You guys don't know this yet, but I've booked my ticket and I'm going for tacos. But I'm not telling you where or with whom yet. But it is next Friday. I'm flying out Friday, early Friday morning, and I am meeting up with another fragrance YouTuber. And uh, we're going to have fun for the weekend. American Pie Lights out. Thank you so much. That'll get me a coffee at the Duty Free. When was the last time you wore a song? Oh, shit. The last time I wore... A version of Songe was uh, Bois Mysterio, and it was, man, it was probably the last time I reviewed it, to be honest. <laughs> VFL's going to try to fuck you. He could try. He might get lucky. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Do you like? I like Voyage Hermes. I like, I do like it. Yeah, Crystal's locked up downstairs in the basement. I don't know where Crystal. I haven't talked to him like since he was in Portland. Um, we messaged a few times while he was in Portland, but I haven't talked to him since he he came back. But I'm sure he's just busy and doing his own thing. But yeah, I'm going for tacos. Um, maybe I'll vlog it. I don't know. I want to do something cool and and different and. And have some fun. Uh, I, I I was planning on doing a diptyque month, and I started. I I started wearing diptyque three days in a row. I was like, mm, I don't know if I can dedicate a whole month again to to one brand. It was too much, and I've only got about fifteen diptyques, so I'd have to wear them several times over. And uh, I just like I scrapped it, and I I really I just went back to wearing some more Dior, and I wore this today. And to me, this is really good, but it won't fancy a lot of you guys because you guys are just way too um, alpha male and um, very macho men, big balls, big, huge, hairy testicles. And this stuff will shrivel up your balls and put them in your wife's purse because this is very feminine, a woody, floral, fruity musk, uh, very soft and powdery kind of got that waxy cosmetics accord but i love it like this is just 
so warm and creamy and powdery. I really like this. And I was thinking of reviewing it. I was like, I'm going to fucking spend all this time reviewing this. I love it, but nobody else gives a shit about this stuff because it's hard to find. It's exclusive. It's expensive. Nobody's interested. And it's going to get 500 views and 10 comments. And nobody's going to give a shit. And I'll get two subs from it. <laughs> and uh, the last time I reviewed, I think it was 31 Rue Cambone. I got I got like two subscribers after. I was like, fucking all that work and and two subscribers. But I throw a goddamn fucking Christmas tree out the window and I get 50 new subscribers the exact same day. So <sighs> it's like... It's, it's almost scary to say people just don't care about fragrance reviews. They just want what's new, what's popular, you know, what's gimmicky. And nobody, you know, fragrance reviews don't sell. That's the sad part. I want to review cool things. Yeah, me and Tyler will be fine. Don't worry, we'll be good. We've got a, a codependent relationship, but we're working on it through therapy. And um, <laughs> yeah, Thomas said he lost 13 subs after he dropped this spring video. It's crazy. You know, you can review one of the best fragrances of all time and you get two subs and throw a fucking Christmas tree out the window and 50 new subscribers. Like, this is all I'm going to keep doing. I'm not even going to review fragrances anymore because nobody gives a shit. Why am I wasting my... They, I guess these guys have no clue how much time and energy goes into actually making a video because, you know... <laughs> Fucker Rooney's. Reminds me of uh, that watch guy. What's his name? From Australia. The fuck is his name? Remind me, what is his name? Archie, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury, fuckaroonies. Yeah, send me your trees, guys. That'd be hilarious. I'll light them on fire first, and then I'll throw them off the uh, the pontiff. Yeah, then I'll throw them off the balcony. Archibald Chesterfield the third. Yeah. I honestly I can't watch him anymore. It's he's he's just, I don't know, man. He's draining. I used to love him when I was kind of like fucked up. And uh he's really draining. Yeah, fuck you right back. Whoever you are. But I went to maximum fragrance today after work, and the place has become like a hangout. Guys just come there and they hang out and they bring their own stuff, their own bottles, and they share stuff. And I was in there today after work for about two hours. The place has literally turned out into like a cafe where guys come and hang out without the coffee, of course. And this this guy was in there with this with this shopping bag of, you know, two dozen vintage fragrances, and he was just sharing them with us. And they were all very rich in oak moss and patchouli and leather. And I was like, wow, I've never even heard of this stuff, but it was all like kind of resembled old Derby and, and Kid de Russie and stuff like that. I was really impressed. Um, one brand, it was, it wasn't, it sounded like Revlon. So it wasn't Revlon. It was like Revillon. And uh, so a lot of good stuff, things I've never heard of, like old Lancomes, like classic Lancome perfumes. A very old school green barber shop, oak moss, oak mossy. <laughs> How's coronavirus? No coronavirus here yet. I mean, we're getting a couple of cases in Canada, but I'm 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 kind of concerned about traveling next week. Like, I don't know what the fuck should I do. Yeah, I start doing some spins and I get 100k subs. Awesome. Why would you buy Versace poor home, Alex? Throw that fucking trash away. There's one in Calgary. There's a couple of, I think Canada's got like, you know, up to 10 cases now. 
don't travel full. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like that. You know, I wasn't feeling like that when I booked my ticket, but now, God, I went to my fucking parents' house, and all they do is watch the news and 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 you know, kick up all this this crap, all this negativity, and it's like I never watch the news on my own when I'm home, but. You're like, oh, coronavirus, oh, burning buildings, oh, planes are going down, oh, don't go to China, you're going to die, oh, don't do this. It's not BFL. I'm not going for tacos with BFL. It's somebody else. Avoid flying. Yeah, man, I don't know what to do now. But I did get travel insurance just in case. No, travel, you're healthy. Life is... See, I... I, I yeah, I, I kind of agree with that too. Don't get caught up in all this crap, man. Don't get fucking caught up. So while I am in the States, I need a... A contact. I want to pick up Purple Oud, but I don't know where to go or or where to. I just want it shipped to my hotel. So where would I call? Like, would I call? Is there still a Dior boutique in Vegas? <laughs> Are my Frederick Malls insured? I actually, my yeah, I've got home insurance on all my perfumes up to a hundred thousand. I do. I'm six foot four, not quite two hundred centimeters, but. Parfum de Mar <laughs> Yeah, it gave me diarrhea, everyday products. Parfum de Mar it gave me coronavirus. Man, I'm I'm not I'm not worried. I'm big and strong and I'm not gonna tell you yet where I'm going. I'll let you guys wait till next weekend. And uh, maybe I'll vlog it. Maybe we'll live stream. What's up, Umberto? So where can I get Purple Oud shipped to my hotel? Do I call a boutique? Do I call Name and Marcus? <laughs> where, where do I get this stuff? Who's going to who's going to guide me here? Yeah, we'll get to Santal Noir. We'll get to it in a second. I've got it right. It just just literally came in. You know how hard it was to find this fucking shit? Uh, I think for like 2 months I've been searching for it. It's got to be in the US. Purple Oud. We don't have it here in Canada yet. I don't think Santal Noir is coming here either. Get the butcher. The butcher knife's in the kitchen. I just got this little fucker here, but it's good to shank. You got purple oud fra uh, fragrance journey, FJ? I didn't know you had purple oud. How is it? It's going to be a blind buy for me, as is the Santal Noir. Can't get the exclusive Dior's in Montreal. You can order them. Uh, order them from Toronto Saks. I can give you the guy's, uh, his information if you want to text him and just order through him. Just send him your, your credit card information. He's really good. The Saks at Eaton Center has a couple of testers of purple. Saks at Eaton Center? You mean that Young in Eglinton? I was just there like two weeks ago. They don't have any purple lewd, man. What are my thoughts on Gris Dior? Man, I don't understand Gris Dior. Uh, I think it's a lovely fragrance, but when I wear it, I'm like, it doesn't, it doesn't add up for me. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, my eyebrows growing back. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, so I want to get Purple Ood. I want to get Paris Deauville because that's not available in Canada, and that's going to be a blind blind buy. And at Duty Free, I will probably pick up uh, Fahrenheit Parfum. I really want that as well. So those are the three that I plan on coming back with. And maybe if I can get, maybe uh, I'd like to get a couple of the Diptyque exclusives. Greed Dior is quite mainstream. And, you know, I have to say, it honestly, didn't hold my attention. Uh, Patchouli Imperial, any good? It's not my favorite patchouli, and it's not one of my favorite Dior's. How ha I'm 250. 6'4", 250. I think Mita is the best from Christian Dior. Yeah. Mita, Leather Oud. Am I going to France? No, I'm not planning on going to France, but I'd love <laughs> I'd love to go to France one day. I'd love to go to Paris. Heinz, you have a Fahrenheit Parfum for swap? Yeah, I can trade you something. You should be a pro wrestler. I don't want to wrestle, man. Thoughts on Queer Canage? That's another one. I, You know, so Queer Canage, uh, Patchouli Imperial, they all kind of like, I don't know, this is going to sound crazy, but Queer Canage reminds me of uh, Queer de Lucie from Chanel. Patchouli Imperial reminds me of a, uh, you know, it's it's like a lesser version of Coral Mandel. I just rather wear the Chanel versions of both of those. I just find them much more enjoyable. I mean, they're both great in in on their own, but Queer Canage is a knockoff. See, I the very first time I smelled Queer Canage, I was like, "Are you fucking joking?" Like that Queer de Russie is the first thing that came to my mind when I sprayed patchouli imperial I was like what this is like so inspired by Coromandel and that's there's a couple like um there's so many Dior's that remind me of other things and it's kind of you know it's insulting queer canage is great it is it's a good fragrance but and it is super floral. There's a lot of white florals in Queer Canage. Orange Blossom, Jasmine. Did I ever kick? Oh, fuck yeah. I kicked a lot of ass, man. A lot of ass. Dior has nothing in the realm of 22. Yeah, because 22 is not easy to sell. Do you think, do you think Chanel sells a ton of Robes. That'll get me a partial of Chanel 22. Um, I know it's it's world famous and it's classic and all that, but when I go to the the counter here where they sell the exclusives, you know, I don't I don't think it's it doesn't look or seem to be a heavy seller 22, you know, an aldehydic floral, not the most popular thing these days, unless you're you know 65 years old and wear a skirt. <laughs> F, F robes FJ wants to send his money back. So maybe give him your PayPal. I don't know. You guys need to patch that shit up. Fuckers. Oh, American pie lights out. Yeah. So, uh, Wasser's releasing his patchouli ardent soon from, uh, the absolute story and I, I'm hoping within the next month we're going to be able to smell that. And I'm kind of excited because I love a good patchouli. And I'm really curious to see what he's going to do with that. Thoughts on Coromandel, 1932 and 57. I love 57, 1950. I love Coromandel. 1932, I like it but it's probably like one of my least favorite exclusives, but I think it's a great spring and summertime fragrance. It's a fruity floral is what it is. It's a nice fruity floral. H 
how old am I? How old do you think I am? I'll tell you, but I'll let you guess first. I love Gardenia. Gardenia is the only, I think Gardenia is the only exclusive that I don't own. <laughs> 69. Oh, let's get to 69 subs here. Robes, you got to get a uh, boy toy or toy boy, whatever the fuck it's called. Toy boy. You should know. Yeah, Mesia is great. I love Mesia. Very powdery, um, cosmetic y. The Chanel's are subtle. They're not weak. They're subtle, but they're persistent and they last all day. Like even the Eau de Cologne, if I wear it in the wintertime in the cold weather, anything you wear in the summer heat isn't going to last because you just kind of sweat it off. But um, when I wear it in the winter, I can consistently get eight to 10 hours out of it. Would I wear Toy Boy on a date? Um, I probably wouldn't because it's too strong. I'd wear something. I'd probably wear a skin scent. I never, I don't have to bury my nose, man. I don't know how there's such a, like a, a pandemic issue of, of performance and, and your longevity and shit like that. Everybody's complaining about this stuff, but I get these fruity, powdery florals, and this stuff lasts 12 hours on me today, you know? But I watch a lot of these YouTubers, and I kind of like, when I see them apply fragrance, I'm like, man, I, I, I don't apply fragrance. Like, I see, like, I've watched Jeremy, and he applies on his neck and the side and the front and the back and the hair. I was like, I've never applied fragrance on my neck in my life, like, so I'll, I'll, I'll take my bottle and I'll put it under my shirt and I'll, I'll spray basically like in this area around my chest. Cause you got these muscles here and they, when they warm up, the, the, the fragrance kind of throws itself. So fragrance needs heat, right? And, uh, if you're just sitting on the sofa and, and vegging and watching Netflix and eating Cheetos and your body's not getting any heat, you're not going to smell your fragrance. But if, if you're, you know, running around doing shit or, or working or just, I don't know, just even cleaning the house and your body's getting a little bit of heat and, and warmth, that's when the fragrance starts to throw itself. But I think uh, people have way too many expectations on perfume and, and what they think it's supposed to do. You know, it's just insane. Oh, my perfume. Like, I, I read some reviews and, oh, it doesn't last five minutes. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, they don't make perfume so it doesn't last. Like, I can literally blindfolded grab any bottle from my shelf, take it to work, and it's going to last me all day and I won't have an issue. You don't get hot while sitting and eating. That's the, that's what I'm saying. If you're sitting on the sofa watching Netflix and 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 eating potato chips, chances are your perfume's not gonna. You're not gonna smell it because you're not, you're you're not getting warm. Your your body's not getting any temperature. So I don't know what these people are doing when they're testing their fragrances, or if they're they're spraying a little bit here, testing for longevity. You know what's that going to do for you? Robes, you dirtbag. Where do I buy most of my Chanel? Well, Chanel, you can't find discounted. You can't find it at, I, I found, you know, you'll get lucky if you find some at a discount shop, but I you got to get them retail. I get mine retail. Fragrance Journey sprays his biceps. Well, you got some pretty big pipes there, man. I, I would spray mine too if they look like yours. What's up, Jonathan? <laughs> N 
No, I didn't get purple oud yet, but I'm looking. I, I'm asking. I got 76 uh, viewers here. Not one of them has a contact for me to get purple oud. I want it. I'm going to the U U.S. next week, Robes. I'm going for tacos. I don't think you were here for that. And I want a bottle of purple oud shipped to my hotel. And nobody's got a contact for me. I want a bottle of uh, Paris Deauville shipped to my hotel. I need a contact for that. And I, I don't want like a fucking partial robes or, or 10 mil decant. I want a full brand new bottle. In the US, yes. Order it from where, Tyler? Where? I need a contact. The website? Best Chanel fragrance for someone new to... There is no best. Best is like what you like. Your best is going to be different from my best. But best exclusive or best mainstream... Ben Lee, what a fucking crazy fucker. Anteus is the best Chanel. Yeah, maybe. I don't think there's the best anything. Lose some weight, Eugene. Thanks, man. I've been on a diet my whole fucking life, man. The best mainstream Chanel. Well... When you say mainstream, you know, that kind of sounds like mass appealing. So I wouldn't say Antaeus is mainstream. <laughs> Where's the ice cream? Um, The best mainstream Chanel. I would stick to the woman's uh, counter. I'd rather wear something like Coco Mademoiselle than Bleu or um, Allure. Allure Homme. I agree. I like Anteus, you know, for myself, I would choose Anteus, but it's not mainstream like like they're asking. I like Allure Ohm. Do you guys know what Allure Ohm is? What genre is Allure Ohm to you guys? Jonathan, next, so I'm going to be there March 13th to the 15th, next Friday to Sunday, just a couple of days. Yeah, all versions of five are great. Oh, Premier, low, five EDT, five body oil is amazing. You guys want to see my most used product this year? I'll show you. Give me a sec. Let me get it. It's a Chanel, of course. Look how much I've used. I I got this for my birthday in December, and look at that dent. I've I don't think I've used this much of any other perf. This is even perfume. This is just uh, an oil, and I use this for my face every morning. <laughs> Thirty five. I wish, but thank you. Um, and every evening when I come home after my shower, I put this on and it's amazing. It's like one of my favorite oils I've ever had. And it's got a very light scent to it. It's, it's, it's mainly like a green watery rose scent, but it, and the, and the scent doesn't last very long. Like I can pick up on it for about 15 to 20 minutes maximum. That's maximum. 15 to 20 minutes, but I can feel, you know, the oil on my face for the whole day. It's really good. It's, it's just, I don't know, man. It just holds on my skin. 
Yeah, the, the number five oil is amazing too. Yeah, man, I'm 45, 46. How'd you know, man? What are you stalking me? You're not the fucker that slashed my tires last night, are you? I had two flat tires yesterday. Two. Not one, but two, both on the same side. I lost a fucking day of work chasing new tires. <laughs> yeah, man, I was born in 74. In the 70s. Dude, they still had carburetors back then. Well, they probably still had carburetors in the 90s, but niche snobs get flat tires. All right, so let's get into this. Let's get into this. And this is... From North Carolina. And this is from Miguel S. I won't say his last name. But Miguel, if you ever need a reference, and we'll find out how solid of a shipper you are, but the package arrived. And I'm guessing this is a tester of Santal Noir because he didn't have a box. So either it's a tester or he chucked the box. Fuck the box. What happened to the box, Miguel? Oh, wow. Look at this. It's like heavy-duty shipping. So the guy, he's like, I've never shipped to Canada before. Like, what do I do? How do I? I was like, just ship the same way you would. Like, if you were shipping it across the street. I never understood that. How do I ship something to Canada? It's like, what do you mean? Like, just the same way you would ship if it was going across the street. Like, there's nothing special to it. The only thing that I would have changed... So if you guys are ever shipping to Canada, I wouldn't add the value. He put the full value here, $190. And I'm lucky I didn't get dinged with uh, customs. But if you're shipping to the U.S., put like a $10 value. And also ship as cosmetics. Don't ship as uh, as perfume because it might get it might get flagged. I Whenever I ship to the U.S., I always declare cosmetics. Used cosmetic samples is what I declare. Oh, look at these fucking peanuts. All right. Peanuts everywhere. So this is a blind buy. Santal Noir. So the packaging is exceptional. And I've got my, my coronavirus rag here, and I'm going to wipe this down because I am fucking paranoid. I'm not really, but I, I'm kind of a germaphobe, and uh, I don't want anyone's germs but my own. And I've got a little bit of vinegar on here, vinegar disinfectant. Rush Durr in the house. What is up, Rush? Rush, have you smelled Santal Noir? I haven't. Okay, so I, I, I want to make something clear to the whack pack here. This is a secret between you and me, guys. I don't know um, if this is going to ruin my reputation, but anytime in any of my videos you've seen me remove the atomizer... Just know that they've always gone back, regardless if I fucking booted them or kicked them or thrown them across the, the department store. I've always gone back. I've picked them up and I've returned them. I never steal them or throw them in the trash, man. That's ghetto. I would never do that. But it's all just, you know, it's just for fun, man. But I've got people commenting in my videos that I should be going to jail. I should be arrested. I'm fucking trash and Man, you guys need to lighten up. You know, it's just entertainment. It's YouTube. This isn't real life. 
No, even the only atomizers I've ever destroyed were were my own, like of bottles that I own. So you've seen me like chew the um, Aqua de Gio Profumo atomizer. That was my own. Um, all my Lamal atomizers are gone. I don't even know where they are. <laughs> beef curtains is on. Unsubs- Sorry to disappoint you. I know beef curtains was going to be um, disappointed, but that's just the truth, man. Canadian ghetto. So has anyone smelt this? Santal Noir. This is exclusive to, I think it's the Middle East and Asia. So it's not available in US and Canada. I don't know if it's available in Europe, but... If it's anything like the description says it's going to be, I think I'm going to like it. So it's sandalwood. Man, I can't. Rose, I think Rose was. And it was compared often. I've, I've, I've seen and heard it compared to, no surprise here again, Chanel. Um, Dior is always chasing Chanel is Egoist. And I've also heard Santal Royale, Guerlain. So kind of weird. Like, why can't Demache come up with his own crap? Like, why is he always duplicating something else that's really popular? I've I've noticed that. All right, let's give this a whirl. Let me get a a blotter. Give me a second. All right. Ropes, five bucks. Taco on me. Man. I'm going to put extra pickles on that taco. It's not Demache. It's Dior. Yeah. But still, Demache, you know, he's at the end of the day, it's his signature on these. He could at least make it interesting. You know, it's it's probably Dior saying make it mainstream and mass appealing and and, and make it sell. But still, you know. They're not the ones mixing shit and coming up with... I don't think they're coming up with the concept or the notes or, or stuff like that. All right, let's spray this fucker. Where is it? Really? Well, that was weird. It doesn't smell very exclusive to me. This is fucking weird. There's hardly anything on here. Man, I feel like I got sabotaged. It's so light. Wow. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to think. I literally don't smell anything. Let me open the door, get some circulation.
Like I get a faint hint of dry woods, but no sweetness, no smoke, no incense, no, no florals, no powder, no spices, like nothing. It's like the paper of the blotter has a stronger smell than the fragrance. <laughs> it's getting split. <laughs> You'll find it on Base Notes Marketplace before midnight. Weird. This is so fucking weird. Like even tea cashmere is stronger than this. Fuck me. Okay, let's spray some tea cashmere. This I can pick up clearly, and this is fucking light as hell. <laughs> Maybe it's the blotter, eh? Guerlain blotter is fucking made in China. Honestly, I don't know what to say or what to think here. Let's put some on skin. Okay, it's a little bit, it's a little bit more perceptible on skin. It's still really faint, man, for what I was expecting. I was expecting a beast. I'd say it's slightly animalic. A little bit salty and woody, dry woods. But I don't get any, like, creamy traditional sandalwood. FJ, you have this. Smells amazing. Russian Federation bottle, possibly. It's just so light. Fuck me, man. Let's spray something else. Maybe it's my nose. Has anyone tried this? Gucci Oud. Um, the voice of the snake. The new uh, Gucci exclusive line. I think they're like 10 years behind on their exclusive game. So this is spice blend. Let's let's see how this works out. I think it's my nose because I'm I'm barely smelling this. Weird. I'm I'm not able to smell this either. Fuck, I think my nose is broken. This is disappointing. Gucci is for pushy. Pussies. You know, it's it's the the Gucci is a good fragrance. I just think I don't think it's very original or unique, but you know, for what it is, it's good. And all of them are quite good. They're made quite good, but um I really like the iris, but it doesn't really stand out in the world of iris fragrances. Yeah, maybe I've got coronavirus. I think my nose is broken. I don't know what's going on here. Sorry, guys. Your nose is broke. Yeah, it's possible. Maybe I'm coming down with something because I'm not able to smell spice blend either. Fuck.
Yeah, the Gucci line, I think they're uh, 100 mils, 380. I'm not willing to pay that for Gucci. Um, you know, even though they're quite good, they don't stand out in the world of exclusives. I definitely wouldn't like, they're $100 more than the Dior exclusives, which is kind of insane. Not smelling. I like Spice Blend. You don't like it? I think it's a good fragrance. Yeah, the Gucci ad campaign looks creepy. Yeah, it's pretty strange. Is that Jared Leto in... in um, is it Jared Leto? I think it's my nose. I don't think it's the fragrance because I'm having a hard time picking up Spice Blend too. Weird. Yeah, that does work when you when even when you leave the room and go into another room. Let me go out in the balcony. Get some fresh air. I don't know. Right now, it doesn't really remind me of either Ego East or Santal Noir or uh, Santal Royale, but it is really dark and and woody, and it's not really creamy like uh, Sandalwood should be. <laughs> Try the night and come back. What do I think of CH man? Man, I'm not a fan of of that kind of stuff. Um, and I've never really worn it either to get uh, enough to give you an impression. All right, Christy, thanks for coming on. Man, that's fucking disappointing. I was really looking forward to this. Maybe I smelt too much Toy Boy and it blew my nose away. That's what I'm going to blame it on Toy Boy. What are you robes? Are you you're now selling fragrances once it's in stock. Man, this fucking blows. All I'm getting is dry woods right now, to be honest. I don't get florals or even spices. I'll try it again tomorrow. Don't feel bad. The new Guerlain we talked about was underwhelming. Which Guerlain? The, the patchouli? That hasn't even been released yet, bro. No, I don't get anything flinty. It's just mostly dry woods. Anyway, this was fucking disappointing as hell. I was really looking forward to this. Really? I like Spice Blend a lot. I, I, I'd buy it again. There's a couple from the Dior Preves I wouldn't buy again, but Spice Blend I would for sure. I'd buy Bois d'Argent again. Um, the more I would buy this one again. I love this one. This and uh, there's the other one. Not Terabella. Belle de Jour. They're very similar. They're both uh, uh, fruity florals, but they're both really well done, powdery. Pastelli, soft and creamy.
Would I buy Dior? Yeah, of course. 2011, of course. O Capital is a less interesting portrait of a lady. Yeah, I, you know, the diptyque O Capital, I, I've seen uh, the similarities, but what stood out for me in O Capital is the spicy clove. It's either clove or cumin, and it's, man, but portrait of a lady has clove as well. It must have been cumin. Something stood out for me, and it was a spice. O Capital, I think is somewhere in between Rose 31 and Portrait of a Lady. It's more dry than Portrait of a Lady is. It's got that peppery cumin. What do I think of Grand Ball? I, I wore it the other night, and uh, it's a nice, creamy, pastel-y, warm, powdery jasmine. I think it's okay. Yeah, Galen, I started with diptyque. I went three days in a row and I I I I I cut it off. I I I can't do it, man. So I wore Eau Duel. I wore uh Oud Palau and Tam Dao. And I enjoyed all three of those, but I just cut it off. I went back to wearing some more Dior. But um I don't know. Maybe I'll wear some more diptyque, but I don't think I want to do another month of, of that again. There's so many fragrances that I want to wear, and and during the day I'm like, damn, I, I miss this fragrance, or I want to wear that, or you know, something is always coming up in my head. Um, I saw a question here. What are we gonna burn next? Where'd that go? What do you think of Jeremy's weird behavior? I haven't noticed. What weird behavior are you talking about? I heard uh, somebody was saying Chanel's coming out with some new exclusive this year. That was, uh, I heard from a couple of people. So that's exciting. I'm, in, I'm really interested in those. So I'm not sure if that's actually been... Um, if that's for sure, if that's just a rumor. I've only heard it in hearsay. That'd be great. I, I'd, 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 I always welcome more exclusives. I know they're having another Lazo coming in, um, in June. I think it's called Paris Edinburgh, and I'll be, you know, I'll be picking that up for sure. Is Centaur Royale as awesome as I think it is? I think it is even better than as awesome as you think it is. I think it's amazing for what it is. Um, I really did not like Centaur Royale when it first came out. I was like, man, this is not what Guerlain is about. This you know, is so different than everything they've ever made. And it was kind of like the new wave of uh, bringing in, I guess a new clientele and it was, you know, it was screechy. It was loud. It was trending, but after, after wearing it and, and getting to know it, I think it's, it's even though it's Oud and I'm not the biggest Oud fan, I think it's amazing for what it is. It's, it's complex and uh, it's always changing. I think it's really good. So the new exclusive will be called Le Lion. Le Lion. Hmm, that's weird. I wonder what that's going to represent. Santal Noir, Santal Royale reject. I don't know. I can. I'm having a hard time smelling it. I think maybe my nose is stuffy.
<laughs> give me Carolina or give me death. You know, outside of their absolute Orient line, they, they're not really doing a whole lot. Like, uh, you know, they, they need to end the, the Lomi Dial line. Like, that's you know, they need to cut that shit off. But they're, they're, they're releasing another, you know, in the next few months. I'm not even sure which, what it is. Maybe a, a, I don't know what it is. It, it's a flanker, but I'm not sure what the title is or what the theme is or the concentration. I have no details. I just know it's going to have like a red color to the bottle, but they need to they need to cut that shit off and start something new. Uh, you know, the last uh, La Parisienne was La Frenchy, which kind of went this way from the rest of the line. You know, they had a, a lot of great fragrances from that collection. Embrum's Delang. If you like florals, I think Embrum's Delang was pretty good too. Um, kind of a, a leathery Elang with that banana effect to it. I liked it and I considered picking it up. I never purchased it, but. I'd love to see a new uh, masculine from Guerlain, but I don't know when it's going to happen. But they kept saying. The last time we were at the boutique that they have major plans for next year. So it's possible, you know, that we could get a new girl on for men. And I think when they do launch it, they're going to have another, you know, uh, I have a feeling they're going to have a huge marketing campaign behind it. Just like they did for Mon Guerlain and, and um, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> a lot of people can't pronounce queer de Russie. I don't think I'm even pronouncing it properly. Yeah, there's some rumors about a pre Leon day being discontinued. Um, I'm not going to believe it until I, I hear it from, from Guerlain, but I've, I've heard from a couple of places. I'd find that really disappointing considering, you know, it's about a hundred fucking years old. Yeah, Guerlain, I, I, I think skincare, cosmetics, makeup is their big money maker. Um, at the boutique here in Toronto, they, they kind of forgot about perfume or they just, they didn't concentrate on it as much. Is the, new, the new Guerlain um, Ideal is coming in the next few months. It should be very soon. I believe it's already been released in Russia which they're always released first before they come to North America. And uh, there's already pictures on Instagram. You can find them there. Queer to Ruzi. Yeah. Is La Frenchie any good? For La Frenchie is good. I don't wear it much, but it's a good, what I would consider a good, like, eau de cologne style freshy. With a, it packs a punch. They need to bring back Lupin Dandy and Rose in the Creed to Desert. Yeah, I thought both of those were great, especially Lupin. I loved Lupin. It's my favorite from that collection. I know Derby gets all the hype and the praise and the accolades, but and I I think it's a wonderful perfume. But something about um, Dandy is just. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. Just dandy is my vibe. I don't think they're going to be real, like getting rid of anything. To be honest, when they're if they're selling, they're not going to get rid of anything. Lilabo Corona 19. It'd make a good meme. Should get Serapio on that. Lupin Dandy is the best one. Bought three balls. Yeah. 
I, I it's my favorite. I don't know if it's the best one. Is Wasa the new Demoshi? Hmm. I don't know. I think he's coming up with creative concepts. Everything he's doing, I don't it it doesn't remind me of other things. You know, they're unique and they stand on their own. The absolutes, the Orient line definitely has a theme running throughout them. And, you know, some of them might have some woody elements you'll find in others, but I don't think he's like Demashi. Demashi, I don't know what's the last creative thing that he's done that really stood out and is unique and interesting and and worthy of praise. You know, what's the last great thing that Demashi's done that's not a reminder of something else? I don't know what's happening with Guerlain. I don't know. You know, they have a fucking million perfumes. They have a million releases. You go in there and there's you could buy 200 perfumes from this brand. Um, I don't know what to say. Like, is it is there anything new coming? I don't know. But you can only release so many more, you know, new and interesting things. Look at everything that's coming out today. It's it's like it reminds you of something else. How many you? How many brands are doing their own thing and being unique? And I know I've been tough with, on Guerlain and Terry Wasser, but I think he's, you know, at the end of the day, he's doing a pretty good job. I don't know how much harder I can come down on him considering, you know, look at all the other brands. Uh, Chanel's always doing something unique and original, and, and, and they're always leading the pack. Everybody's kind of following Chanel. Um, When's the last time Dior's come out with something creative? Beat the shit out of Profumo. Yeah, I, sh I should throw it off the balcony or something. I don't know. There's this car that's parked out there, and every night the fucking alarm goes off. I've thought of throwing eggs at the windshield, or maybe I'll just grab that Profumo and throw it right through the windshield. You know, I have my doubts about who the creator of Leather Oud is. I'm not really, I don't, I'm starting to doubt that Demache really made that. You know, it's just skepticism from my side, but he's turned into a piss poor perfumer. Did he really make Oudis Fahan? Like, I don't know. Calvin Klein Euphoria. Are these all Demache creations? Dolce Gamana Light Blue. Eccentric Mold. Who made all those? <laughs> Fucking dirt bags. How do I get all the dirt bags on my feed? You heard Demache is credit for, for La Pausa. What? Yoy. Perfume addict watching from Australia. Cool, man. What's up, Saab Replay? I don't know, uh, Bruno. Why doesn't anyone else speak? I guess nobody gives a shit. If people cared, they would talk about it. I don't. I don't know. Maybe they like him. 
you know, I don't know why nobody else. Why do people only talk about compliment getters and and top 10 this, top 10? Maybe the people don't give a shit about exposing. It's not like I'm exposing. I'm just telling you how I feel about his creations and how lackluster some of them are. I guess people talk about what they care about, what they're passionate about, and we're all different. Chanel's buttery iris is so fucking beautiful. Yeah, but I've noticed that you're starting to use, you know, that those same features, buttery iris, um, creamy, uh, pastel -y, warm, all, all those nuances that they've never done before. And there's easily like three, four, five, six of those in the in the new Maison Dior collection. Yeah, I agree, Frankie. Uh, Lab Techs are, are, are probably making a lot of these. Top 10 fragrances to give a woman a heart attack. Yeah, see, this is, this is what gets the views and the hits. Hilarious. Nobody gives a shit if Demashi shit the bed. I mean, besides you guys, but I don't care about what 10 fragrances are going to give a woman a heart attack. I want to talk about Demache. I want to talk about Olivier Polge. I want to talk about Wasser. Yeah, I don't know about the fashion, what's going on with their fashion. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if Dior's copying Chanel. I don't know how Dior's doing in fashion. But I know their fragrances, they aren't, you know, they smell good and they and they're well made and they they're they last long and they do everything that that people look for in a fragrance. But you know, me knowing what I know, I know they're not unique, they're not creative, they're not original, they all kind of remind me of something else. And that's my deal. And that's what I'm concerned. That's what I want to see change at Dior. I'd love to see Demache fuck off from there and they bring somebody else in. Maybe Maurice uh, Roussel or, you know, somebody that knows what they're doing. Anyway, I'm going to cut this, guys. But um, thanks for coming on. And uh, <laughs> hopefully I'll get better results. I'm going to wear Santal Noir tomorrow and see what's going on. Hopefully it's just my nose. I'm sure the bottle is fine. I'm not, I'm not doubting its authenticity or anything. But let's have a look here at the back of the tag. I mean, it looks it looks fine, but it's it's probably just my nose. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you all again soon, probably on the next live or video. But thanks, everyone.